And because racers always remember this, tell me what happened at the one you lost. Yeah, exactly. No, tell me what happened at the one you lost. You don't remember? No. Oh, really? I, every time I talk to a racer, I go, I remember you won this race. Now, I remember you won. Let me tell you about the one that got away. That's the one I always remember. Uh, well, there's a lot of them got away. I believe it was Gary Bergen, final round. Yeah, you're right. Gary Bergen. Tony Schumacher on the left side. Driving for the Maynard Racing Team. Joe Maynard down there on the starting line. And just the recent passing of his wife, Kathy, after a long, long battle with MS. Great to have Joe out here and hanging out with his racing family. That's the best way that you can, that you can heal after something like that. One of the folks at Skag Equipment with Mike Neff. And over to the right side, that is Sean Langman. Coletta Air is hiring. And that's why they've got the logos on the side of that thing. If you are a pilot... A material handler, mechanic, you're looking to make a move, you're looking to go to work for a global company, Coletta Air would like to talk to you. Of course, with Revcam and Sealmaster, Gazoo Toyota, Mac Tools. That's Sean Lang, man, that kid out of the junior dragster ranks. Then went into the Lucas Oil ranks, won a couple of championships. Got in the top fuel car, won a championship. Yeah. Yeah, you're exactly right. And I've often said, here we go, wait a minute. Okay. Wow, we hadn't seen much of that. Tony goes up in smoke immediately and a 378. Sweet. At 321 miles an hour for Sean Langman. That is a nice start for the Coletta Air team over there. First top fuel car down the racetrack and puts up a big number. Tony smokes the tires and idles down in the 12-second range. Yeah, you're talking about these guys coming up like Sean Langman. You know, he ran uh, the junior dragsters and everything else. And they got sharp on the lights, you know, really mm -hmm. quick on the lights. And, and, you know, instead of just jumping in a car, like when Dixon started driving for us, he didn't drive a junior drag right. or any of those smaller classes. He just went right into top fuel. He was good, of course. But nowadays, man, these guys are really good. They came from the other ranks. I highly recommend that's the way to get into drag racing, is start running some of the smaller categories and get used to the starting line and all that. Because you get in one of these cars, it's a whole different animal animal and sean still utilizes his bracket dragster to stay sharp just a couple of weeks ago yeah mm -hmm. out in indianapolis they had a wally race it's a big bracket race out there he took his bracket car out there and won the darn thing yeah. so sean is still using his bracket car to stay sharp hey hitting the tree is hitting the tree no matter how it goes